have to generate a PDF report using Merge Connect. We will base on initial 7 we already used in the previous videos and we will see how to extract the data from this method and print a PDF report in our local machine. So let's start. We will clone as usually our last channel which is HL7 conversion. We will name it PDF report generation. Let's save it. We need to change the port here to avoid the error address already in use. Let's create a new destination for our PDF use case. Okay. In this case, we will need the connector document writer. As you can see, we have two options. We can generate in RTF format or PDF. So we'll choose PDF in this case. Our default configuration here is fine for the moment, apart where we're gonna export our PDF report. We need to create a folder. Let's name it reports. Okay. Let's change the directory to it. Okay, so our full path or our absolute path, this one, let's copy past it and use it here in the directory field. We'll do a quick test to check if it's working fine. Okay, it's successfully connected. Our generated file, for example, patient data.pdf. We need an HTML CSS code, for example, to print the PDF based on this template. Of course, we will take the template and change it to fill the data from the previously parsed HTML7 message. I have here a template. I already prepared it for this use case. Let's copy it, paste it in the HTML template. See how it looks in a browser. That's the form. We need to fill the data. Let's drag and drop the first name from the right side. Same thing for the last name and for the date of birth. And deploy our channel. We will send a message. Since we have always a TCP listener channel in the source, so we need to send a message to be able to test our channel. For example, let's change some data here. Okay, it's fine for the moment. Let's process the message. Okay, so as we can see, the PDF report destination is working fine. The status is sent. Let's check our PDF report. Okay, it's generated here in the reports folder. So the PDF here is printed with the data specified. Okay, so here, as you can see, I selected the non-formatted data of birth, but we can, of course, change it and use the HL7 JSON object that we parsed last time. Let's do this exercise. Instead of using directly the date of birth, we can use the HL7 JSON object but only the date of birth value. I don't remember if this is the right key. Let's check in the source. Mm, yeah, so it's the right key. Okay, so we are good. Let's save. Let, okay, it's saved. Let's deploy. We'll send again our message. Of course, here. Okay, so it's fine, it's working. Check our PDF report again. Okay, that's it. The date of birth is formatted here. Okay, thank you for watching. Let's explore more Merge Connect features in the next videos.